Welcome, all of you. I'm Michael Palin. I am um, proud to be the president of the Royal Geographical Society. Um, so welcome to all of you here and all um, Ibex Earth supporters for the film tonight. Um, I'm not really here as, as the president in any shape or form, just because I'm, I'm fascinated by Roraima and uh, all its various uh, manifestations. Anyway, um, now to why we're here, really, which is for me to introduce the film uh, the uh, Lost World film. And there are, there are a number of reasons why, uh, why I want to see this. Um, one is that the old Conan Doyle story of the, the Lost World, one of the great stories um, of, my, of my childhood, and really whetted my appetite for, for exotic parts of the world. And I've always felt that this extraordinary plateau above the flatlands somewhere in you know, northern South America uh, was somewhere I would, I would have to go one day. I haven't been there yet, but I hope I will eventually. But it has an, it had an enormous appeal and attraction and magic. Um, and I, I thought, um, before I came along tonight, that I'd just, just um, remind myself of what um, Arthur Conan Doyle's great book, uh, The Lost World, was all about. So I googled it, and, and I'm just, if you don't mind, just going to give you the plot summary. Because I'd actually forgotten what a weird, wild and wacky book it is. Um, anyway, here's the plot summary. Edward Malone, a reporter for the Daily Gazette, goes to his news editor, McArdle, to get a dangerous and adventurous mission to impress the woman he loves, Gladys Hungerton. He is sent to interview Professor George Edward Challenger, who has, ass who has assaulted four or five other journalists. Oh, those are the days when the relationships were... <laughs> it was the right way around, wasn't it, then? Um, to determine if his claims about his trip to South America are true. After, <laughs> after assaulting Malone, <laughs> Challenger, he's obviously a psychopath, Challenger reveals his discovery of dinosaurs in South America. He invites Malone on a trip to prove his story, along with Professor Summer Lee, another scientist qualified to examine any evidence, and Lord John Roxton, an adventurer who knows the Amazon. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, the, they reach the plateau with the aid of Indian guides who are superstitiously scared of the area. One of these Indians, Gomez, is the brother of a man that Roxton killed the last time he was in South America, as you do. There's, there's going to be a lot of deaths from here on. When the expedition manages to get onto the plateau, Gomez destroys the bridge, trapping them. Deciding to investigate the lost world, they are attacked by pterodactyls at a swamp, and Roxton finds some blue clay in which he takes a great degree of interest. After a few misadventures in which the expedition narrowly misses being killed by dinosaurs, Challenger, Summerlee, and Roxton are captured by a race of ape men. While in their village, they find out there's also a tribe of humans called, uh, calling themselves Akala. Sounds like some sort of uh, accountancy business, doesn't it now? Uh, <laughs> inhabiting the other side of the plateau with whom the ape men, called Doda by the Akala, are constantly at war. Roxton manages to re escape and team up with Malone to mount a rescue. They arrive just in time to pre prevent the executions of the professors and several other humans who take them to the human tribe. With their help, they defeat the ape men, taking control of the whole plateau. Upon returning to England, they present their report, which include pictures and a newspaper report by Edward, which many dismiss like they did Challenger's original story. Having planned ahead, Challenger shows them a live pterodactyl as proof, which then escapes and flies out into the ocean. <laughs> when the four of them have dinner, <laughs> they don't seem to worry about catching the pterodactyl. Um, that would be big news now, wouldn't it? Breaking news, pterodactyl seen outside South End. Um, Anyway, they, they, they have lunch, they, four of them have dinner. Roxton shows them why he was so interested in the blue clay. It contains diamonds. I told you he was a private equity bloke. It contains diamonds, about 200,000 pounds worth to be split between them. Challenger opens a private museum. Summerlee retires to categorize fossils. And Roxton plans to go back to the lost world. Malone returns to his love, Gladys, only to find out that she's married a clerk while he was away. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good move, Gladys. With nothing keeping him in London, he volunteers to be part of Roxton's second trip. So I very much hope in the film we're about to see all these issues will have been covered. <laughs> Um, one of the other reasons, a uh, more serious reason why I really want to see the film tonight is that one of the photographers um, it celebrates is uh, a guy called Adrian Warren. Um, I met Adrian once and he was a superb natural history photographer, one of the best, and, and he died very recently. Um, I'm very glad to say that uh, at a big exhibition which the RGS launched last year called Britain from the Air, an outdoor exhibition of stunning photographs which was in Bath and is just finished in Oxford and hopefully will go somewhere else. Adrian was one of the main uh, contributors and his, his photography is absolutely superb. So I would add my, um, my own uh, memories and appreciations uh, of Adrian to uh, those that have been, uh, which I'm, I'm sure you'll hear also tonight. Um, uh, the other reason is that the Royal Geographical Society, where you are, actually has a connection with the lost world, with Roraima. It was uh, an RGS expedition that first uh, climbed uh, Roraima in 1884. And finally, on a personal note, I'm currently making a series in Brazil, and I would love to start uh, at the, the Brazilian end of uh, Roraima, which I think is in, it fits into three countries, if I'm not much mistaken. Anyway, I'd love to start up in Roraima. So I uh, have a look tonight and see, see just what it's like. Anyway, for all these reasons, um, I'd like to salute the work of Ibex Earth in uh, seeking to protect the lost world and many other worlds from modern predators um, and look forward very much to seeing the film of their expedition there. And I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you for coming along. Thank you.